Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you are a Quixel user but not the biggest fan of Fab, I have some great news for you. First, a little bit of explanation. What is Fab? Fab is the Epic Games new universal marketplace. It was designed to replace uh, both the Unreal Engine market as well as a couple of other things, including specifically the Sketch Fab store and the Quixel Mega Scans repository. So we have this new universal marketplace. It launched back in October, and let's just say the Fab launch has not been absolutely flawed. Right now, uh, there is this. So this here is the Fab access to Quixel. Now, the really good news is when they launched Fab, they gave you the ability to get all of Quixel's content for free under the Fab license. So if you go to your Fab and you've claimed everything, which I highly recommend you do, you get this huge repository of Quixel assets. And Quixel's got stuff like um, real-world photogrammetry scans of objects. We've got a number of textures and so on. I want to come in here. I want to grab this junkyard scene. Completely free. I can grab it. The key thing here is do your mega scan claim. You only have until the end of 2024 to do that. Now, the problem is this is the interface to it. So right now, it is a subsection of Fab, and you have to download things this way. Now, the thing is, previously, we had the Megascans website, which is what you see right here, and this is the repository. So here's all of the things I currently own on Megascans. I want to grab this texture, for example. I could come in here, grab it, pick the different resolutions, and go. So this functionality was all turned off when Fab was launched, and that's even worse because there's another program out here, and this guy right here, this is Quixel Bridge. Now, this is an application that is quite literally a bridge between Quixel Mega Scans and everything else. So you can actually link this to, um, for example, I have it linked to Blender. So I can grab an asset. So I go here, something that I've purchased. Let's say I needed these columns. I could go ahead, uh, pick a resolution for them over here. I can download those items to my computer. So there is this application for basically handling all of your Quixel content. And then the cool thing here is this has uh, plugins for various different things. So I have... Um, Right now, it is configured to use um, the, the Blender on the one end. But you've got a number of different options here. Quixel bridges between, here you can see, Unreal Engine, uh, Max, Maya, Unity, and so on. So if you want to export it out to a variety of different areas, you can do exactly that. So that is the functionality that Bridge currently provided. The problem is they turned off Bridge. So instead, all you have now is... So even this, the website, mixer, uh, megascans.com, was shut off. So all you had is this, the um, basically Quixel subsection of Fab. So obviously you can see all of the functionality you lost. So if I wanted to go ahead and get this guy, all this really allows me to do, unless I'm using Unreal Engine, is to just download it. So I can pick the file format I want and download it, and then I have to move it over. So all of that functionality, that bridging functionality that we used to have, yeah, it's gone. They shut it all off. And on top of that, let's just say Fab has a few issues. So what's a person to do? Well, first thing I want to, again, reiterate, go on Fab and claim everything so that you have all of these things in your library. So if I go to my library right here, I have a huge number of all of the Fab stuff there and a number of other things too. But this is a chance to get 18,000 game-ready assets completely for free. So you'd be an idiot not to do it. Go and do that. But if you want to go ahead and use Megascan's website, so this guy right here, the old school website, or if you want to use Bridge, well, you are out of luck because they shut them off. Well, good news is they sent out an email today and it basically linked to this post right here. And uh, we are reactivating the ability to acquire legacy mega scans in Bridge and on Quixel.com. So Quixel.com is back. Bridge is back. And then next week, and this is very important, they are going to have a way you can claim the entire library in one click. So yes, you're going to technically have two Megascans libraries. One is kind of like an archive of all of the Megascan stuff, and it will continue to work in Bridge and on Quixel.com. So they've brought those applications back. So right now, again, if I go back over to mine, so if I go back to the Bridge application, you're going to notice my purchase is it's only 25 items. But coming next week, I'm going to have the ability to claim all 18,000 plus assets into my library. So they will show up both on fab.com as well as in Quixel. Now, the part that you want to know about here is they're actually going to be under two separate licenses. And this gets a little bit confusing. So in order uh, to use it, you need to be logged in and subscribed to Unreal Engine or an indie Quixel plan in order to claim the free Megascans library on Quixel and Bridge. If you're on a different plan and have access to the Epic Content license, we will move you to the indie plan automatically. To switch from Unreal Engine plan to the indie plan, recommend creating a new account since the indie plan does not not allow access through the bridge plugin in Unreal Engine. Uh, if you wish to switch, contact support. 
Uh, and then what happens after December 31st, 2024, you'll still have access to past acquisitions, including those assets you have, may have claimed for free. So again, next week, they're going to give you the ability to claim the 18,000 plus assets completely free. Uh, so you will continue to have access to those after the end of 2024. They will continue to function into 2025, but you will not be able to find or acquire new things from the legacy mega scans library after December 31st. So realistically, you could think of this as a snapshot or a frozen version in time of all of the things that currently exist in the Megascans repository are going to be available on Quixel.com and on Bridge like they are today or like they were a month ago before Fab launched. So you're going to have this all version available. So if you wish to acquire new and updated Megascans, however, you'll find them only on Fab. So now through the end of the year, you can claim the Fab Megascans library for free. This is what I mentioned earlier on. Go and do that. It's there's no brainer. There's no reason why you wouldn't do this. It is a one click process uh, under the Fab standard license. Starting in 2025, Megascans will be available for purchase on Fab, though we will still offer some assets for free. So all going forward, new stuff is going to be on fab. It's also important to know there are going to be no updates at all. You will not receive any updates and no new assets will be added to the asset library. So really, again, you're getting a repository of the 18,000 free items that already exist. Uh, claiming all the free mega scans on fab gives you access to an updated and improved catalog of mega scans under the fab standard license. The fab mega scans library includes some assets that no longer meet their standards. So basically that's another part of this. There's some something like five, yeah, 544 assets that just aren't up to snuff. Uh, those are being deprecated out of it and you'll be able to download them uh, via zip or targz uh, later on. Uh, but that's going to be a very edge case. Just 500 items that just they don't think are very good. Now, the important part here is this part right here. So uh, Bridge, it doesn't exist in Fab right now. So they were really dumb in turning it off prematurely because that functionality just isn't there. Um, so they are working with the Fab team to ensure that all content creators have easy ways to discover, download, and use digital content. In 2025, they will in, uh, the integrations with Unreal and UEFN will see additional improvements. Uh, the team is planning to introduce new integrations with tools outside of the Epic ecosystem, as well as a public API in the future. So right now, the functionality that Bridge provides, they don't have. So they are working on it, and that is happening. Until they finish it, though, they are going to keep Bridge available. So when Fab offers a comprehensive alternative to Bridge, they will discontinue Bridge and Quixel.com. When those tools are discontinued, you will no longer be able to use them to access or download the mega scans that you have licensed. So that is, again, why it's super important you're going to want to do claim uh, of both licenses. Claim on mega scans and then claim on, or claim on Quixel technically, and claim on Fab. Do both of those. It's basically 36,000 free items, but there's, you know, everything is a duplicate. So you're going to lose access to all of these legacy assets when they finally replace a uh, bridge with something new. Uh, but that, who knows when that's actually going to be. But as long as you've claimed them all on both stores, it's fine. You will have the entirety of them. They've created a very complicated licensing system here. But at the end of the day, really all it means is they screwed up, they turned off bridge, and they turned off mega scans, and the functionality that those provided wasn't available. So they've got this new kind of kludgy license way of giving it to everybody. Stay tuned again until next week. Uh, they are looking at a way uh, to claim the entire library with one click. I'll probably do a video when that actually happens just to remind you. And once again, today you can go and claim everything on Fab. You have until the end of the year to do that. And I just highly recommend you go and do that. But the good news is this Quixel Bridge, an application that I know many people absolutely love, especially if you are not working in Unreal Engine, but you're working with like Max, Maya, Blender, Cinema 4D, Unity, whatever. Uh, Quixel Bridge is back. So that is great news. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Quixel is back. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.